Hello stock traders, I hope all of you are having a fine morning. In today's video, I'm going to cover some different stocks that you might want to take a look at that are a great value. So do some value investing when the market is down. And so the panic could be starting and we could see higher interest rates, higher oil prices, some things in the economy maybe don't look so good. And you might be thinking, oh, well, this isn't the time to invest. Well, it might be. Because the stock market drops, you can get great deals on stocks that pay a very high dividend. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about some income producing stocks. I am in my mid to late 40s and so I'm starting to think about income in retirement. And so I do like to buy some of these stocks and I have a strategy for this. But before I get going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. I do have a Patreon group. If you're interested in my stock picks, that's the place to be. I hope to see you there. That being said, let's move on. Let's start to talk about some different stocks and the market and the overall market and different levels to pay attention to, um, some different things that I am looking at. And let's start with the VIX because the VIX is not elevated. However, on Monday morning, we could see that change quite a bit. Uh, right now, futures are not looking so hot going into tomorrow. And so stocks could be dropping and hitting some of those value levels that you may consider a buying up some different stocks. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get going, uh, 1827 is the middle level of this. This is the median level of the VIX. So it is not elevated by any means with everything that is going on right now. Because of the rally that we got on Friday, uh, the market really um, really got the VIX crushed down here to right at 1745. It's a little bit elevated from where it was at. It got super low in here. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how this pans out moving forward. Um, so far, I do expect to see maybe a, a price spike in this. And I do like to buy ticker symbol SVIX when that happens. And so we could see that this next week. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if we will or not. All right, let's go to the Russell. The Russell has been beaten down here uh, in uh, support levels is 172, right around 172. And uh, resistance, I would say a 176. Although uh, I would put maybe the support levels down here, uh, possibly at 170 here, looking as, as an important level right here at 170. Hadn't updated those looking here. Uh, moving forward on the triple Qs, we have 367, which is resistance in my opinion, and support is down here at 357. So about a 10 point, uh, $10 price difference here, uh, looking at different levels right now. We'll see if this, well, how this is gonna look on Mondays. And the S&P 500 continues to be 420 support, 430 resistance, and so, uh, with the news and everything that happened this weekend, we could see this. Uh, this could be a lower high that we ran into on Friday. We could see lower prices here. But if we get a breakout, especially if we were to close this gap, this would be a major, major level of resistance right here at 438. All right. So I want to talk about some stocks that pay a great dividend that have been beaten up right now by signals all around. And let's go to the weekly chart. Whenever I am taking a look at these, I like to look at the weekly chart. And the very first one is ticker symbol BMRC. This is Bank of Marin Bank Corp. And uh, we have a buy signal right here. We also have a dividend payout of 5.56%. I like this for a long-term appreciation type model of this stock to move to the upper price range. We haven't had a sell signal in this in forever. All the way since August of 21 was the last sell signal that we had here. So this one uh, is a really good value. It's just been beaten up like crazy with everything going on. I love the dividend payout. Banks are very stable. Also, this is part of the dividend challengers list. And if you don't know, those are stocks that have paid a dividend between 10 and 25 years and have not lowered their dividend 
in that time frame. And so this stock being within that very select group. So I like it for that reason. They've only increased their dividend over a very long period of time. And we have a 5.56% dividend payout. I like to just buy this and own it and hold it. That is my plan with this long-term cash appreciation. I would sell if we got a weekly sell signal, but it is months away from that at least. And so this one is one that I plan on holding and earning a little bit of cash on the side uh, while I hold it. The next one is ticker symbol NRIM. This is North Rim Bank Corp Incorporated. And uh, this pays out a 5.77% dividend payout. And so like that very, very much. Um, this one had a recent sell signal in August of 23, but it is now printing a buy signal here on the weekly chart. So I like this level as a good area to buy up shares. This is also part of the dividend challengers list and pays a 5.77% dividend yield. So I will hold it until I get a sell signal and it might be a very long time from now and I plan on just earning that 5.77%. All right, the next is ticker symbol ATLO. This is Ames National Corporation. And uh, we have more buy signals here. This is a terrific buy. It was not long ago, back in January of 23, this was all the way at 25 and we had a sell signal here. But it's been a long past since that. We've had buy signals down here. Uh, looking for entry point on this on Monday morning. I'm actually hoping the stock market is pretty ugly in, so that I can load this cheap after market open. This pays a 6.67% dividend yield. And again, I'll just hold it long term, looking for long term appreciation and cash value on my dividends on this. I'm not a big fan of reinvesting my dividends because. When I want to sell the stock, I want to be able to sell it without having to worry about a wash sale rule. And so that is something that I like to uh, to have. That's one of the reasons why I like cash. Also, the other reason why I like cash on it is sometimes I'll use that cash. Other times I'll reinvest it. Most of the time I reinvest it into something else, something that's fitting my fancy, something that has a buy signal at that moment. All right, the next and last one is ticker symbol PFC, Premier Financial Corporation. And this one pays a 7.33% dividend. Uh, again, this is part of the dividends challengers list and so between 10 and 25 years this this stock has not decreased its dividend over that time only increased it so like this for some uh, appreciation up towards sell signals or you know I, we had sell signals not too long ago back here in july of 23 um, it got pretty overheated here in uh, late july of 23 and uh, looking here and now we have a buy signal down here looking for movement to the upside on this. But if not, I will just be content to earn my 7.33% for doing nothing, just holding it and owning it. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Please reach out to me in the comment section down below if you should have any questions. I wish you all the best on the stock market and Raytoven 